Hey Jules Bless Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those who are new I know you can benefit. So I wanted to talk about really fear um, as it relates to trying to live a healthy clean eating life where we're not relying on food uh, to get us through whatever it is and it's interesting because I've had to actually apologize to God on several occasions where I have chose the strength, seemingly the strength in food, over trusting him or um, prayer. And instead thinking, you know, if I could just have this food or that food or whatever, I'd be able to get through this. And it's never true, right? It's just never true. Food has no power except for the power that I give it. So this is a really good quote, which I will try and include as the um, icon for this video by Eleanor Roosevelt, who was so phenomenal. And it says, you gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. You are able to say to yourself, I lived through this horror I can take the next thing that comes along. You must do the thing you think you cannot do. Eleanor Roosevelt. And I, I think that's so important because for so much of my life, I have relied on food. I just can't even say. Um, my day was so hard, I need this. It's my drug of choice. It's been my drug of choice for years. And... I know that it's never a solution, but at times it's been what it took to get me through whatever I had to get through. And when I'm not anesthetizing myself, which means to actually numb my feelings with food, I'm forced to feel them. And I've had a couple of situations where I've thought I can't do it, I can't do it. Um, but of course I did do it. We're always welcome to avoid what's required of us. But in the 12-step program, it always says the only way out is through. And it's so completely true. We have to go through it. And I think you'll find that life continues to present the same lesson again and again. The package might be different. The person who delivers it might be different. The challenge might look different. But the ultimate bottom line of whatever the lesson is tends to remain the same until we dare to actually get through it. So do you have that experience in your life? I've had it so many times. I'm clean right now and I've had challenges because life is daily, right? I mean, it happens all the time from having vertigo to feeling sick to my pig getting ill to not having a job to, you know, racing to an interview, like all the things and that's just my life, let alone the people I care about and what's going on with them, because that affects me as well, just out of the love I have for them. So right now, it is already 11.15 at night. I still have more things I need to do. That's just the way my life is right now. I pray for the grace to arrange it differently, and I think life is going to force me to arrange it differently, depending on where my next job is. And I will have to go with that. Um, part of what comes up for me all the time is never feeling like I'm enough. Deciding in advance that there's someone who can do it better, that my gifts aren't enough. And that's really unfortunate, but that's where I become fear-based. Do I dare take the risk only to disappoint, right? But I do want to take that risk. So let me read it again. You gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. You're able to say to yourself, I lived through this horror. I can take the next thing that comes along. You must do the thing you think you cannot do. Eleanor Roosevelt. No matter how small it is, right? Or how incredibly huge and vast it is, Dare you today face some fear? Because on the other side is triumph, right? 
All right, my friends, as usual, like if you like, join us if you haven't, and best of all, trust that you're blessed.